Hi everyone, welcome back to another chapter of Stranger Things. Today we'll be watching chapter 7, The Bagda. I am very excited because I'm very sure that this title is in relation to Elle and going into the water tank and her trying to find people when it's totally blacked out. So I'm pretty sure this particular episode is her finding Will and Barbara. And if so, I am so excited to see how she's gonna find it because it her powers to me till now is like my favorite. I really love the stuff that she can do with her mind. So, but the other thing is that how is she gonna, how are they gonna escape from the hospital? Hawkins lab people like what is their their method now those kids because love from the last episode we saw that that Hawkins guy uh, was just waiting outside so will they find them would she not be able to find Will if so would she use that in the lab oh god so many questions I'm just ready to get to the episode I hope you guys have been enjoying the reactions anyway enough of my blabber let's get right to it very yeah. beautiful oh pretty really pretty oh PG-13 kids. Oh, kids! Guys! Jeez Louise. Lucas, I think he's in trouble. Yeah, they all want to live it! The bad men are coming! All of them! The bad men are coming! Bad men. Run. Bad men. Millions of people are repairs. What? Is there anyone supposed to come and do repairs on the house? The house! One second! Mark! We need to leave. Right? No. If anyone asks where I am, I've left the country. Yeah, chuff. <laughs> Whoa! Go, 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 go! Lucas! Where are they? I don't know. I think we lost them. Nope. Go, 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 go! No! Oh, shit! You get into that van. No, Dustin. We missed it. No, no, no. Was awesome. Oh, I was wrong. Good man. Friends, right? Friends. <laughs> Friends don't lie. Why is he wearing handcuffs? Well, your boy assaulted a police officer. Take Ted. them off. I am afraid I cannot do this. Take them off. You heard it. Take them off. I'll see you in my office. Oh, you won't my. believe me. He will. Why don't you give me a try? Uh oh. Literally taking advantage of innocent people. Do you think my son is hiding this girl? What happened to her hair? You come into my house and you tell me that my son is hiding some girl and that he's in danger, but you can't tell us why? And you want you expect me to remain but calm? And this is the lab right here. Mm -hmm. The gate's gotta be in there somewhere. Yes. It's gotta be. You too. You risked your life. Nancy is not yours to fix alone. You act like you're all alone out there in the world, but you're not. You're not alone. Damn it, Jonathan. Damn it. A psychotic child broke his arm. Oh, girl, Chief Lola. That tone. Do you hear that tone? Honestly, I'm just trying to say the thing. She had no hair and she was bleeding from her nose. Like a freak. What kind of things? Like. Make you fly? Got an image of hand making that face while hand dancing or screwing. Careful, for once in your life, shut your damn mouth. Thank God. What? Hey, what's your problem, man? Slap with the heart of gold. I told you to watch your mouth. Hey! I don't know what's gotten into you, man, but you don't talk to her that way. Get out of my face. Move the point. That's right, Harrington. Run away! Run away! My dad is there. It'll be okay. Nancy. Hey, hey, hey. Nancy, hey, Nancy. Hey, Nancy. Listen to me. Listen to me. The last thing in the world we need is them knowing you're mixed up in all Mike. this. I don't know where he is, but I think I know who to ask him. This is an emergency, Mike. Do you copy? We can protect you. We can help you. But you gotta pick up. Are you there? Do you copy? Over. Mike. I'm here. I want to help. Ugh. Nancy. You don't think she's involved in this too, do you? Nancy with Mike? <laughs> this. I don't feel good about what this. Do you feel good about anything. Why 
Why do you guys have to shout? Oh my, this is actually someone else. Get me. Hopper? Oh, thank God. Alright, let's go. Oh my God, Mike. I was so worried about you. Is that my dress? About to skate underground? Yes. Near large water tank? Yes. Salt, lots of it. How much is lost? 1,500 pounds. Well, where are we gonna get that much salt? Are you kidding? Listen to me. I'm gonna find him. All right? You gotta trust me on this. I am going to find him. I am! One, two, three. Uh, shit! Nancy Drew! tell each other everything. Do you like 11? What? No, you. Gross. <laughs> You're a very brave girl. You know that, don't you? I'm gonna be there with you the whole time. And if it ever gets too scary in, in that place, you just let me know, okay? Right there! Anxiety level 101, it just peaked there. This episode, oh my, it was all sorts of emotion. Barb is gone for sure. Um, Will is luckily alive, but now after this thing, I don't know if he, uh, what, what, what happened at the end? I don't know what that is. Because they said that, please don't leave, like stay there, stay right there. Now he has to leave. So now it'll be harder for Hop and Joyce to find them when they reach the upside down. I mean, if they get through that contraption of all those officers over there. But this was an insane episode and 
it was from the start when Elle used her mind to flip the van to the Lucas making amends and everyone being okay with each other um, to the entire bathtub everything in this episode was really really good it just goes to show that everything's coming really close to the end and we're getting a lot more answers than we did so for that i am really excited to see how episode 8 will be because now episode 8 i'm hopefully sure that they will find will hoping really and i am gonna be sure at the same time but um this is this episode eight i think will just be more of them tackling their way into the upside down and if so how are we how are they gonna get past all those demagogues like literally they don't have enough weapons to even sustain and defend themselves so how are they gonna literally find will in that area so i'm just and also do they need because the last time hop went he went without oxygen masks and all that so the last time again in the other episode when that shepherd guy went in he went in in a proper full like clothing to cover himself up so there'd be no air coming through anywhere but the then in that very room um hop went he didn't have anything on so is he contaminated is that something that might be revealed at episode eight i'm not too sure or is the air no toxic at all because it's just some particles that are coming out from the uh the, the gate that just make it look like it's unbreathable but then it's all fine because by if it wasn't fine i think hawk might have some problems now I mean, he looks fine to me, but thank God, I really hope nothing happens, but it's just something that goes through your mind, you know? Um, sort of like The Last of Us, where if you breathe in the spores, you are very much gonna get infected. So stuff like that. Um, so I'm not too sure, but this episode was really, really fantastic. I really enjoyed it. A lot more of um emotions in terms of joyce and 11 i loved that it's because 11 didn't have like a mom she never felt that comfort that she would get from a mom and you know that mom saying that don't worry i got you i'm right here she didn't get that from that papa but from joyce she's getting that so i really loved that that just like broke my heart truly and jonathan and um the, again Joyce at the same time it's just you know Winona as playing as this character is doing so much justice it just really goes to show how really tight we are with our family and this is really crazy to see you know that emotion that she's channeling through this character it's really really touched me and I just I, I don't know if you saw but I teared up and um, what this this entire segment on family was perfect 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 and it goes to show how 11 also is so connected with the way she's been mistreated pressurized this and that she's all sorts of like you know it gives her all the right to like lash out and leave and whatnot because of the pressure she's been facing from the lab experiment to now finding will and then barb she could have easily left but she's staying and she's going through it because you know she trusts her friends she trusts the um, mike dustin lucas and now joyce and you know eventually she will open up where it's like more like they will she's going to protect all of them and that is something i'm really really looking forward to if she does protect them in a certain way like how she did with the van i am very excited so it's more to say like when is the next episode gonna happen i'm just waiting for it because oh god it's getting so good but yeah i hope you all enjoy thank you so much for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and give this video a like and all your positive comments i really do appreciate every single one of you and also don't forget to wear your masks and stay safe and stay healthy for your friends and family as how these guys are with each other friendship and family all the way but um other than that i hope you all have been having a great day and i'll see you a lot 
in the next one my god one more episode to go and season one done Ugh, is there gonna be like a big big battle between these guys in what way i'm really excited so i hope you guys are staying tuned will stay tuned for the next episode until then see you guys in the next one bye